you know, the treatment of Parkinson's disease can be uh, divided in two parts at the moment. I mean, uh, uh, the one looking at the symptomatic effect of the drugs, uh, in, in fact, in Parkinson's disease, there are already some good symptomatic drugs, but with a lot of limitations. We go back later. Uh, and what we call the cure of the disease, so disease-modifying therapy or neuroprotective therapy. So in terms of neuroprotection, uh, it's, it's the, the most, the, there are a number of interesting molecules. Uh, the one which are already in uh, advanced clinical trial, let's say, they are, there is one antibody from uh, a company called Roche, and it's, uh, it's called the Presuna, Presunazimab. Uh, in this, this study, uh, in the previous study, sorry, um, this drug showed to be an effect, to have an effect uh, in modifying the UPDRS part 3, so the motor part of the scale, and the patient treated with the drug were doing better than the patient treated with placebo. Uh, there is a, a, a four years follow-up now with this patient participating into the first trial, and uh, uh, this difference between uh, um, <laughs> patient on treatment and a court of patient in the real life is quite obvious, is quite there. So uh, this compound is now in phase 2B uh, in a very, in a much larger trial, 420 patients and this trial will be completed this year. Another imp interesting molecule is from uh, UCB Novartis, it's a molecule able to interfere with the aggregation of the protein alpha synuclein. Um, so, oh, we didn't say that actually the antibody, the Roche antibody is acting on alpha synuclein. So it's an antibody to uh, capturate alpha synuclein when moving from one cell to another. This one is different, it's a small molecule and actually uh, interfere with the aggregation of the protein. So if the patient, if the uh, alpha synuclein is not aggregated, it's not toxic. So that's another important. Then um, there are other two molecules which uh, are ongoing. Uh, one, it's uh, an enhancer of uh, LARC um, enzyme, and actually it's by Biogen and is tested in uh, all the patients with Parkinson's disease, not just in, uh, in the LARC2 mutating patient. Uh, there is also another compound for genetic uh, uh, form of disease, which is the GBA mutation, and there is a, a, an enhancer of the GKs enzyme, and this is from BL, and the study is ongoing. And uh, another study which just uh, concluded is, uh, is a compound called the Buntanetap, and this is uh, Novis Bio, and uh, it's uh, again, it's a, it's a drug to avoid the aggregation of the protein. Then there are very um, interesting data uh, of a phase one study with an active immunization, so a sort of vaccine that you can inject in the patient. The patient develop the antibodies versus uh, alpha synuclein, and so you can immunize this patient uh, for uh, to avoid, let's say, the accumulation alpha synuclein. Um, so these are the, the, the ones already ongoing, uh, where the trials are in more advanced stage, but there are a number of other molecules, interesting molecules, which will be studied in the, in the next uh, couple of years.